Good evening, everyone. I am going to wait while the live uh, starts up. Happy Thursday evening. I am here in our new office, and to my left, Miss Grace will be joining us. She's in the cage right here. There she is. Here's your close-up, Grace. Hold on. There she is. Say hi, honey. So maybe I'll let her out of her cage while we're doing the live broadcast tonight. But I'm just going to wait as people jump on. Happy Thursday evening. Wonderful to see all of you tonight. This is my first Facebook Live. I did a YouTube Live. Now I'm doing a Facebook Live for those of you who are on Facebook uh, this evening, November 1st, 2018. Hello, Deanna. Everyone's jumping on. Now I see you guys. Blessings. I'm very excited about doing this live. We're going to go on the leading of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to pray and then we're going to begin. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you this evening, Lord. We thank you, Father, as we approach your throne, that your son Jesus, you sent to die on the cross for our sins, to die a death he didn't deserve, to save us when we didn't deserve it. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, forgive us our sins, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Have your way as we do this broadcast tonight. Bless it, Lord. In Jesus' name, we receive revelation, Lord, for your glory and honor. Amen and amen. So, the rescues... Hello, Scott. Hello, Marilyn. Uh, Marlin. Oh, Marlin's on. Oh, she's in Scotland and she's up watching me. Oh, hi, Marlin. God bless you. She's about five hours ahead, guys. So she's up late for this. And I so appreciate her being on. The rescues might make an appearance. So you may hear them start barking. We'll work through it. They may come in and say hello. For those of you who would like to again say hello to Miss Grace. She's right there in the cage. Yes, we got her that aviary. and She is a dove dwelling in the back office. How ironic is this, huh? She's a dove in the back office. And that's how the Lord told me he wants it. So that's what we're going with tonight. So I have some revelation from the Lord. I have my Bible ready. And we're also going to go on the leading of the Holy Spirit. We're also going to do a Q&A is what we're going to do also towards uh, the end. We're going to start taking questions from you guys. I will answer them to the best of my ability as God permits. And we will go from there. I also have my notebook lined up. I have notes on the computers. I'm going for a trifecta here, people. Oh, she's so cute. She said I had to stay up. Hello, Dawn Marie. God bless you. Okay. So... On YouTube, as people are jumping on, I see more and more people are jumping on. And uh, let me tell you first about my day. Well, as you know, I put a video up on YouTube, a couple of videos. But one of them is Caesar the Little Yorkie had his first meeting with Daisy Duck. And for those of you who watched on YouTube, well... Daisy puffed out her feathers and started chasing Caesar, and Caesar headed for the hills, back up to the house. So Daisy has to learn how to play nice with others. She needs prayer because she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips, this duck. And uh, she has been sent into my life to teach me patience by God himself. So <laughs> hello, Elodie. Hello, blessings. So... It didn't go as planned, the first meeting. It was actually quite funny, though. So if you want to laugh, guys, head on over to my YouTube page after the live broadcast, www.youtube.com forward slash grace and fashion, and you will definitely be able to catch that video of Caesar and Daisy meeting for the first time. Now, I also did another video on YouTube recently, and I wanted to go over it again a little bit. We're going to go on the leading of the spirit and then we are going to actually do the Q&A. So up, oh, Toby's peeking his head in. You might hear the pitter patter of Toby's feet while we're doing this. So in Revelation 5, 9, and this is what my YouTube broadcast was based on. And we're going to get into this a little bit and we're going to see where the Holy Spirit leads from here. 
it says, for those of you who have your Bibles with you and you want to follow along, hey bud, Revelation chapter 5, verse 9, I'm going to put Toby up on my lap after I read this. And they sang a new song saying, worthy are you to take the book and to break its seals. For you were slain and purchased for God with your blood, men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Glory be to God. And we're going to get up what it really means when he purchased us. This is what we're going to get into in a minute. However, up here, I told you, I went to grab them. They headed for the hills. So you may hear them barking. It's okay. There's probably a car coming down the driveway. Chris may be home, and he may stick his head in and say hello to you guys. So what does it mean that God purchased us? What does this mean? It means that in the spirit, there was a legal transaction that took place because the spirit realm, just like the earthly realm, is a realm of laws. I mean, God is divine order himself. That's how he likes things. He is the God of divine order. And that's how we know him as. And so basically, you hear Roxy? She'd make anyone quiver with that bark. Let me tell you, my goodness gracious, I'm going to shut the office door for a minute. She could always poke her head back in and come over and say hello. Just so you guys don't have to hear it as much. So basically, a legal transaction took place in the spirit when Jesus died on the cross. But this legal transaction began the moment Jesus was conceived. There was a certain order and process that had to occur here. And it had to be in a specific order.